So Generative Field appear in Lightroom and Lightroom Classic and in this video everything about how you're gonna use it. When you open your photo in Lightroom Classic and click on Develop section, Generative Field will be located in the Remove section underneath this eraser icon. If you don't have this feature in your Lightroom or Lightroom Classic yet, be sure to watch till the end of this video to know how to get it. So before remove any object from your photo, click check mark near Generative AI. Now paint over object or subject on your photo that you would like to remove. It will be highlighted with such a red mask and then click on Apply button. As you can see, this feature works perfectly with the small objects, but let's test it with the bigger ones. For this, on my photo, I select in Windows and click Apply button once again. This process didn't show the best results from the beginning, but if you will click on one of your masks and go down here, you will find arrows that allow you to change options that Generative AI provide you with. But even if those options are not enough for you, just click Refresh button once again, so Generative AI will generate new content, and in this way you can separate manipulate with different parts of your photo where you wanted to remove any object or subject. Now let's test more difficult tasks and remove people from the photo which take a lot of space on the photo and cover a lot of details on the background. So with ready selection I click again apply button to initiate the process and the results look just incredible. And now you can see before and after editing process and I'm pretty sure that this feature is gonna be my favorite one. But if you still don't see Generative AI feature in your software, open your Creative Cloud application, go into the Apps section and here you will see updates that are available for your Lightroom or Lightroom Classic. So you just need to click on the Update button to initiate the updating process. Also over here you can see the latest version where this feature is already available. And when you will open your software after updating, you will need to click Agree button on the user guidelines of using Generative AI and it will appear right over here. 